Hello guys, today we'll be covering episode 6 of the American Anthology Horror TV series called American Horror Stories Season 2. Virginia Mallow, a woman in her late middle age, wakes up to her alarm when she takes a beaker and collects her urine in it. She then applies that urine on her face to reduce wrinkles as she wishes to look younger. With her growing age, her wrinkles take away her confidence to face others as well as herself in the mirror. Virginia is a widow who's living with her daughter, Faye, who's a woman in her late 30s pursuing her law degree. Although Faye is Virginia's stepdaughter, she treats her as her own daughter and vice versa. In the next scene, Faye is trying to convince her mother to feel confident with her aging face, but Virginia does not seem to share her thoughts. Moments later, Virginia is seen gazing at a man named Bernie, a handsome man of similar age on whom she has a huge crush. While she's staring at him through the window, Faye tells her that Bernie's getting divorced from his wife. Somewhere down the line, Virginia's happy to know about his divorce, but she doesn't dare to walk up to him and talk to him. One afternoon, Virginia meets Bernie at a department store where he's shopping with a beautiful woman named Cassie. There, Virginia openly tells how beautiful Cassie is and even mentions that she's jealous of her. She then asks Cassie about the secret of her well-maintained beauty. In response, Cassie says that her secret lies in the hands of Dr. Enid Pearl, who carries out anti-aging procedures, and hence, she refers Virginia to the same doctor. She goes to meet Dr. Pearl, who's famous for her plastic surgery procedures. During the meeting, Virginia explains to the doctor that she's not able to face herself in the mirror. Therefore, she wishes to transform her face. After understanding Virginia's feelings, Dr. Pearl says that she does not refer to herself as a plastic surgeon, but instead, she refers to herself as a worshipper of beauty. She even shows pictures of some people whom she treated and transformed into beautiful individuals. Therefore, she assures her that her procedure will nourish the true beauty hiding inside anyone. Virginia seems to be impressed by those pictures and wishes to undergo the procedure. However, Virginia is having difficulty arranging the huge amount required for the surgery. When she reaches home, she talks to her business manager to arrange the required money, but the manager strictly refuses her to do so. Furthermore, he says that their family is already in a lot of debt and they can't afford more of it. Despite her manager's suggestions, Virginia is reluctant and goes to Dr. Pearl to get the procedure done. But during the surgery, the team of doctors is seen chanting some strange mantras to make matters a little weirder. The night after the surgery, when Faye returns home searching for her mother, she's scared at Virginia's appearance. She has white bandages all over her face and hands, which makes it scarier. That night, it's thundering and raining outside, while Virginia is crying in pain in her room. To help her with the pain, Faye takes care of her mother by giving her the prescribed painkillers. But she makes it clear that she's disappointed with her mother's decision to undergo the procedure. During the argument, Virginia states that Faye is her stepdaughter and reminds her to stay in her lane, which deeply hurts her feelings. Therefore, Faye leaves her mother alone with her painkillers. Immediately, Virginia realizes her mistake and begs Faye to stay near her, but Faye leaves in anger. Later that night, Virginia suffers from tremendous pain and she's haunted by the vision of demons and the sounds of the same mantras that were chanted during her surgery. At that moment, when she tries to take the painkillers on her own, she spills the tablets from the bottle and feels helpless. She once again tries to take the pills while being disturbed by the haunted visions, but she ends up falling on the floor. Just at that moment, Faye comes back, and when she sees the miserable state of her mother, she tends to her care. In the morning, Virginia asks Faye why she changed her mind to come back to take care of her. In response, Faye simply says that Virginia never treated her as a stepdaughter and always took good care of her. So, even though they had a heated exchange, Faye returned to take care of Virginia without making any judgments. Later, Virginia meets Dr. Pearl for dressing the bandages. There, the doctor convinces her to move the procedure to another place where her people will take better care of her. She further adds that the new place will have far more experienced healthcare professionals. Dr. Pearl even influences Virginia against her daughter and tells her to keep the location of this new place a secret. Virginia is extremely grateful to Dr. Pearl, so she does not tell her daughter anything about the place, and eventually, she moves in with the doctor. Upon arriving at the place, the people there greet her and she feels very respected and welcomed. But she's also a little awkward since she's the only one wearing those ugly bandages while all the others are beautiful. However, Dr. Pearl says that she does not need to feel ugly because everyone around there went through the same procedure and they all know about it. After that, she takes Virginia for the dressing. 
When they're alone, she asks Virginia to let her open the bandages and reveal a new face in front of everyone that evening. At first, Virginia is reluctant, but then, because of the insistence of Dr. Pearl, she finally agrees to do so. In the meantime, we see Faye wandering around the place in search of her mother. She manages to reach Dr. Pearl's private lodge by hiding in the same car as Virginia. All of a sudden, someone grabs her from the back and makes her unconscious by suffocating her using chloroform. On the other hand, people have gathered on the ground as Dr. Pearl announces that Virginia's bandages will be taken out shortly. Next, she invites Virginia on stage. But before the procedure, two security guards bring up Faye in front of her mother. She warns Virginia that something's not right and that she should not stay here any longer. However, Virginia disagrees with Faye and instead, she tells the people around her that Faye's not even her real daughter. After that, Faye's taken down by the security guards and they continue their ceremony. When the doctor removes the bandages from her face, it's revealed that Pearl has given her an even more disfigured and piggish face. It turns out that in reality, Pearl and her staff are part of a cult that worships beauty, and Virginia is to be their annual sacrifice to the deity, Etain. Shortly after, they release Virginia onto the grounds of the lodge as she attempts to escape from there. The people who belong to the cult start following her, and soon enough, she's trapped and eventually hunted down. It's then revealed that Bernie and Cassie are also members of the cult, and they end up killing her as a sacrifice. In the meantime, Faye is brought to the dead body of her mother as she cries in grief. Pearl then tells the distraught Faye that her birth mother was one of Etain's followers. Later, a more confident Faye returns to the university with the cult's signature butterfly tattoo on her wrist. There, a young man who's also a member of the cult asks her about the tattoo, and they start talking. As the two form a friendship, they start walking together toward their destination, and the episode comes to an end.